Now that you've installed Epic on page SEO, we need an API key and a search engine ID to enter into the settings section. Now in order to do this, you're going to need a Google account. So if you don't have one, you're going to have to create one. And if you do have one, make sure that you're logged into it. Underneath this video, there are two links. The first one is console.developers.google.com. So you're going to want to click on that and it'll take you to this page. Under other popular APIs, you're going to want to click on custom search API and you're going to want to enable it. Once this API is enabled, you're going to see that you're going to need some credentials. So you can either click on go to credentials or I like to click on just credentials. Once you're here, you're going to click on create credentials, API key, and then browser key. Now you can change the name of this browser key. I'm just going to leave it as browser key one and I'm going to hit create. Once it is created, you'll get the browser key here. And if you click on this little icon, it'll copy it to your clipboard. We're going to go back to Epic on page SEO. We're going to click on the settings section and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this or paste this right into the API key. Once we have this, there is another link underneath this video. It is cse.google.com. You're going to click on that and it's going to take you to this page. And then you're going to click on create a custom search engine. Once you're here, the only thing that is required is the sites to search. You're going to need to enter in a website here. Now you're going to want to make sure that this website has nothing to do with your niche. And I'm going to explain that here in a minute. So I'm just going to enter in epic arrow dot com and then you're just going to hit create once it has created the custom search engine you'll get this page and you're going to click on control panel so once you click on control panel you're going to scroll down to this setting called sites to search right here and you're going to change it from search only included sites to search entire web but emphasize included site and that is why we want you to enter in a site that has nothing to do with your niche because you do not want it emphasized when it pulls back search results. So once you have done that and changed this, you're going to click the update button. Once you've updated it, then you're going to go to this detail section and click on search engine ID. Then we're going to take this search engine ID and we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to Epic on page SEO. We are going to put it in for the search engine ID and we are going to hit save. Once you've done that, you can go back to the main screen, you can enter in a keyword, and you can search on it. If you have any issues at all at this, you can contact us at this icon right here, this link right here. Go there, click it, it'll take you to our support page, and we'll help you the best we can to set this up.